one comes from Nam Danan, and this is a, a little bit of combining draft classes. And I, I, this is always fun. Um, hoping you can rank, compare, and contrast Simon Nemich and David versus David Yurichek versus David Reinbacher versus Dmitry Simashev. I'm especially curious how Simashev stacks up against the other three in your estimation. If you have time, curious about how they compare to 24s like Levshunov and Dickinson. Thanks. All right. Well, thanks for the question there, um, Nam Denan. Um, I think that uh, the the it, it's a hard question to answer because you know you're obviously dealing with a lot of different information, and so you know if I'm just judging it solely on upside, um, I think that of the guys that we're talking about, I, I would have Artem Levshunov number one, and I would consider having Sam Dickinson number two in that group. I think that the class of defensemen we have coming up are exceptional. Um, I'm less married to Dickinson at number two because I, I really am very, very high on David Juracek. I think that he's going to be a, a top tier um, you know, NHL defenseman. I think his offensive game is, is coming along nicely. I think he defends well. I like his mobility. When I've seen him in top level competitions, he always steps up. I just think that as an NHL player, he's going to be very strong. Simon Nemich, same thing. Um, I, I would have both Juracek and Nemec ahead of David Reinbacher, um, and I would have them ahead of Dmitry Simashev. So that said, you know, I think of all of those players, Simashev might be the best pure defender, uh, but what he lacks offensively is, you know, is where the other players make up ground on him. I think Simashev is a really good player. I had him pretty low on my draft board. A lot of that was due to the Russian factor. And then on top of that, the you know perceived lack of offensive upside. I didn't didn't see enough this year from him to suggest to me that he's going to be a, a productive defenseman. And I think that in the modern NHL, it's very hard for you to be a top pairing defenseman if you are not um, offensively productive. And and I don't know if he will be. I do think he's a top four defenseman. I think there's a potential to be a top pairing defenseman, a guy that plays tight matchups. You know, I think there's a Ryan Suter element to him. Uh, to a certain extent where he is going to be uh, a guy that eats a ton of minutes and can and, you know play in a lot of different situations. Um, but, you know, I, I think that he's, he's behind this group in terms of the offensive capabilities. Um, the one guy, you know, Sam Dickinson, I think is a really outstanding athlete. He's got goal scoring ability. He can move pucks. He's got skating ability. Um, you know, I think it's a little early in the game for me to, 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 you know, to put him in that conversation. Um, you know, so 